Hi, Aries. It's L here to do your uh, love reading. Okay. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. We got gossip, okay? We have short term and then we have travel. So all I heard was I get around. Round and round. This person gets around. This person may have said to you what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, how they're going to leave their person, or this is you, Aries. But somebody's not doing that. Somebody gets around, okay? This may even be a person who's physically away from you, far from you, has to travel to you. Or this is somebody who has a rotation of women or men. Uh, this relationship came into your life. It was supposed to be short term to show you what it is you should not allow, what it is you should not want. And then there was going to be a breakup. This relationship is on a time or a timer, a clock. It will run out. There could be gossip surrounding this connection too. People could be gossiping. Okay, this one to show its face right here. Um, yeah, somebody's a liar, liar. Someone says what they're going to do, but they don't do shit. They don't do nothing. Yeah, I have things I haven't told you. Yeah, it's like this person is just, you know, playing, you know, racing against time. They know that this relationship is on a, on, on a buzzer. It's going to eventually end because they're not willing to make the sacrifice, the change. I know it, manipulative behavior and I'm dating other people. Somebody, you know, they say things, they don't mean it. They say what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. They don't do it. This person is getting around. We said that with the travel card. I'm dating other people. They do get around. What else can we tell Aries here? Yeah, I'm happiest when I'm with you. Sexy wife. Somebody has a sexy wife. Someone wants a sexy wife. Someone feels like, okay, yeah, I have you. You're my person on the side, but I also have a sexy wife. I'm not going to leave my life. I'm not leaving my life. You know, I'm happiest when I'm with you. Maybe the energy between man and wife, husband and wife is just off. So somebody has traveled outside of the uh, marital relationship. Yeah, somebody's an all out cheat or cheater. This is um pretty cut and dry here. Somebody's marital relationship isn't going in the capacity that or the way that they wanted to go in. Therefore, they, they started looking outwards. They started looking outside of the relationship. But it's just for the short term. It's just for sex, you know, fun. It's not that they're leaving their person for these, this uh, outside person. What can we leave Aries with here in regards to advice? What is the advice? Okay. The Hierophant. Get under some guidance. Some um, Listen to that inner voice also. Some, something is speaking to you. This is not your intuition. It's an inner voice. Something else is speaking to you. Um, some Spiritual. Something spiritual is speaking to you about this. Somebody is married. Somebody is not leaving that, that institution that they took up with this person. Somebody wants the status quo. If they used to deal with you on the side, that's what they want now. Okay. All right. What's the advice for Aries? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they go around. They get around. It's not only you. They have other people that they can pull from, draw from. If your person is not married, then it's more so this is an energy of a single person whispering the sweet nothings in your ear about what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, how you guys are going to run off into the sunset. But they're an absolute liar, liar. And this relationship should have an expiration date, but somebody keeps allowing it to go round and round. This person does get around. Yeah, Ten of swords. This connection is going to offer you nothing but disappointment, heartbreak, headache, drama, collapse. You being the scapegoat is drama and dramatic. That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope that it doesn't resonate with you. But if it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. I wish that it was better news, better information. But, you know, I know you'll get through this, move past it. And you'll it, once you do that, it'll be so much brighter on the other side. But just know who and what you're dealing with so that you can move forward. Um, get your own personal reading. If you feel like it resonates for you, go over to the website. The website is linked below. Get your own personal reading. But before you do that, go here on the community tab, grab a discount code, then head over to the website. I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night doing a collective reading and then answering your questions. So catch me live. Click the like, excuse, 
click the subscribe button and then click the bell so you know when I'm live. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.